Hi guys, so today I'm very excited to share with you some of the updates, some of the new features that we have rolled out and added to our software BookBeam. Find it at bookbeam.io. And you know, we work very hard to constantly improve our tools, constantly try to take them to the next level so that they're more valuable and more powerful and more useful for you guys. So first let's start with the Niche Finder. The Niche Finder is one of our newest tools, our newest additions to the tool set. And there are a couple of perhaps smaller details that we have added here, but you know, the big experience, the main experience is made up of the details. So we really pay attention to that as well. So, so let's hop into the Niche Finder over here. Let's start some, uh, some search just so I can show you the things that we have added. I'll search for books in the business and money category from one to 25,000. And I will select uh, the reviews are gonna be one to 200. And I'll only check books that are self-published and let's see what we find. All right, so the Niche Finder has completed the search and here are our results. We see the books in the business and money category with a bestsellers rank from one to 25,000 and with reviews from one to 200. But okay, I'm not gonna be analyzing the results too much. You probably already saw that in the Niche Finder video and if you didn't, feel free to go and check it out. So the new things that we have added are the number of pages that the books have. So here for each of the books, we see how many pages there are. So that can give you a very quick feeling of what type of a book is it? Is it like a short, kind of a more of a pamphlet style, like a short read, or is it like a, a medium read, like these ones would be medium, 100 something pages on the, on the lower end, pretty low. And then you have something like this, that's 600. And that just gives you a better feeling of what the book is about, all whilst you're seeing all the other data points, the sales data points uh, next to it as well. So you have everything all in one. And likewise, we also have added this age. We see how old these books are. So some of these are actually very, very new. So we see that this one is just 21 days old. This one is 10 days old. Um, this is a two months and 20 days. That, that's very interesting. So for example, see this one is about, uh, about blockchain. We see it was published just 10 days ago and it's very, very hot. This person probably has some kind of an audience and, and blockchain and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is very hot right now overall. So that's very interesting. And, and so similarly, besides these two points and the number of pages and the age of the book, we've also added this button right here to the left side of each book which will allow you to add any of these books to your tracker. So if any of these books piques your interest and you wanna keep a close eye on it, you can just click this plus button and it's going to add this book to your book tracker. And you can, you know, you can track the keywords for it. You can see the sales over time. You can see the reviews over time and so on. And so you can not kind of, you could keep it in your awareness. So there we go, I added this one. I also added this one, it's pretty interesting. It's about the blockchain and so when I clicked it, and so when I click this button, it adds it instantly to my book tracker. Very nice, very convenient, everything's all in one. All right, so those are the couple of small touches that we have added onto the Niche Finder to make it a more complete tool for you. But now let's move on to the bigger changes, the bigger updates. And the bigger updates lie in the Chrome extension. So here I've gone over to Amazon and typed in the search term, crypto trading, very hot as we saw in our niche finder search in the business category and I'll open up the Chrome extension. And so here, I think already at first glance, you see that the Chrome extension looks very different than it did before. So what exactly have we added on here? So first we've added this format icon right here, just a little touch so you can quickly see what kind of a format this book is. What are the data points that you are looking at? Are you looking at the data points for the Kindle version, for the audio version? or for the print version. The next, like in the Niche Finder, we also have the Add to Tracker button. We have the Copy ASIN button right here. And also another point that we have built in now, uh, when you scroll to the side, these uh, titles will remain here just so you can still see which books you are looking at when you scroll over to the side. Now that is one usability point. The next, the BookBeam Chrome extension is also now able to show you data for sponsored books. So here, for some reason on this page, I'm not seeing any sponsor books. It's probably because I'm logged out of my Amazon account. So I'll open it up from the window where I am logged into my Amazon account, the same term. And so here I'm now seeing all these sponsored books, sponsored fields right here. And so when we look at the Chrome extension, it is able to show us information about 
the sponsored fields as well. So usually there are some sponsored fields for a search page at the beginning of, at the top of the search page, there's a couple of sponsored fields at the middle and a couple of sponsored fields at the end as well. So, and it's going to be showing you data points for these, uh, for these sponsored books as well. However, it is not going to be including them in the average calculations because that wouldn't really make sense. So, and for that reason, you're not going to be seeing any of these check marks right here next to the sponsored uh, books uh, as you see here on the top. So there's no check marks uh, next to them. And what these check marks do, that leads me to my next update point. What these check marks do is they allow you to include or exclude the books from the average calculations here at the top. So for example, let's say there is a book with a super high BSR. It hasn't sold for ages. The BSR is 3 million, for example. And so what you would do then, let's for example, let's take this one with 97,000 BSR. And what I could do then is if it's kind of skewing my numbers, I don't like what it's doing. I want to just kind of exclude it and shut it off, cut it up, cut it out from the calculation. I'll just click this check mark. And what that would do, if you look at the average numbers here at the top, that changes the averages uh, numbers. Actually, in this case, this is lower than the average. So it makes the average, uh, which one was that? This one. So it makes the average actually go higher. So anyhow, so if you ever want to exclude a particular book and all of its data from the averages calculation, now you have this, uh, this possibility available to you in the Chrome extension. The next, we also show the age and the length of the books. So you can see how old it is. You can sort by how old the books are. So you can see the age and the length of the book that can, again, help you to get a better feeling of, of what the book is really about. All right, so that is not yet it actually. So I'm actually saving the best for last. So because we've added so many new things to the Chrome extension, so many uh, new data points, new elements, these little icons, and it all takes up space. The length takes up space, one, one column. The, the age takes up space, one column. So what we've added is we've just added a option for you to customize your Bookbeam Chrome extension. You can customize it. So perhaps you're just not interested in some of the data points that we uh, provide you. Perhaps you're not interested in the age or the length, or perhaps you don't want to see the, the, the format icons. And so what you would do in that case, for example, let's say you, you don't, you want to, you know, you want to have it less kind of cramped. You want it to be, have only the things that you are interested in. And let's say you are not interested in the format, you would unclick it. Perhaps you even don't want to see the sponsored books. Generally, I like having the sponsored books in the Chrome extension. It's, you know, I'm, I'm often curious even about the sponsored books, even though they do not organically rank for the term I might be looking at, but perhaps you're not interested in it. So you can unclick it. You can also, let's see what else we could not be interested in. Let's kind of remove the, perhaps the, let's remove the length and then click apply and close. And so the Chrome extension will uh, just not show you that data. So you can be more focused. The Chrome extension can be more focused for you and only show you the data points and the data for the books that you are uh, interested in. And also another thing about the sponsored books is that if you go to an individual book page, as I've done here, to an individual book listing and open up the Chrome extension, it's going to be also showing you all of these sponsored books that you have here below the description. You probably know there's a lot of sponsored books on the individual book listing page. So it's also going to be showing you the data for all the related sponsored books on here uh, as well. So that guys is not yet it. I've left the best thing, the most powerful thing for last. So the most powerful, in my view, the most powerful addition to the Chrome extension is the BSR history. So next to all of the rankings, you'll see these little line graph icons. And if you click any of them, what it's going to do is going to show you the BSR history. So I just clicked it for this book, Chart Logic, and I see it for the past month, how this book has been trending for the past uh, month. It's actually interesting that this book is about charts. Interesting, interesting synchronicity there. So yeah, we see how this book has been performing over time, over one month, over three months, six months, one year, all time. Although it's not that old. Let's try and look at a 
slightly older book. So let's see, this one is, this one is four years. Let's check this one out. And it's ranking very high actually. But there we go. Here we see that it's been, uh, it has slightly fallen from where it was before. Let's see, three months, six months, time, let's see one year. So yeah, it has had a steep climb this year. It's, it's fallen a little bit, but it had a peak around its hit top 100 in the dot-com store. And so yeah, you can see this history for all print books on Amazon. That's very, very powerful. You can see not just what's happening right now, you can see what has happened throughout time. And once again, we can just do this for a couple more books just for fun. Charting and technical analysis, interesting technical book. You can see how it's been trending up and down over various uh, points in time. You can see, you know, you can start making these kind of conclusions about the whole market, about the whole niche. Uh, in this case, it's blockchain, it's trading, it's cryptocurrency. You can see that it has had a steep climb at some point in time around the start of 2021. And again, you can see this for any print book on Amazon. So guys, those are the Chrome extension updates. Very, very powerful, especially this last one, the BSR histories, very, very useful, very, very insightful, and you know, will help you to make much better decisions that you have all this information. And this information is not just something that somebody you know, has made up. This is real data from Amazon, real data about sales, you know, sales of these books, sales within these uh, niches and, and so on and so forth. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope to see you on the inside of BookBeam. It will really, really help you in your self-publishing journey. All of the value and all the insights and intelligence that it gives you will outweigh the subscription cost many times over. You can come test it out for yourself. There's a 14-day money-back guarantee. So no risk. And yeah, I'll see you on the inside.